Happy New Year TCS viewers, welcome back. Chris Nichols here again from the camera store. And for our first video of the year, we wanted to do something a little bit different. We wanted to see what you guys were asking about, what product interested you the most? Because we do get a lot of comments on our YouTube channel. Now it's not a digital camera, it's not a tripod, in fact, it's not really anything to specifically do with photography. We are getting so many comments about these gloves, the Heat 3 gloves. Where can I buy them? What are those? You know, so we're going to give these to you guys today. We love this product. We're going to do some interesting challenges with it, test them out, and give you guys the full rundown on the Heat 3 gloves. Now, of course, if you're going to test winter gloves, you need winter conditions, and Calgary in January does not disappoint. It's minus 20 degrees Celsius, very cold. We're actually getting record snowfall for the year as well. You can't even see my feet. They're buried in snow. So Jordan and I are not very comfortable, but they are good conditions to test out these winter gloves. And I'm going to say right off the bat, my hands are nice and warm right now. These Heat 3 gloves were really designed for brutal conditions though. They were actually made for German and Austrian special forces. They're now used by the uh, Austrian ski teams and Swiss ski teams and uh, they're great gloves now for photography, for skiing, for outdoor activities, as well as shooting people in mountain conditions with assault rifles. So, you know, we're going to put them through the test and uh, I think I'm doing better than Jordan because the fact is Jordan is still using your classic low pro gloves for winter use and for a long time this was all we had but uh, we're going to check in with Jordan a bit, see how he's doing. I'm guessing his fingers are getting pretty damn cold. Now, Heat 3 gloves are a little pricey. They're around $200 Canadian, but they're very well constructed out of high-end materials. We've got waterproof barriers around the glove. We've got Primaloft insulation, which is both thin and warm. And we've got genuine leather pads, which keep these things rugged. They mean that you can get a lot of wear and a lot of use out of them without it wearing through. And again, they're nice and warm. But they have some other great design features as well. All right, so first looking at the base of the glove, we've got some cool features here. Drawstring to keep the powder out, but I also like that there's a little Velcro tab here to hold the drawstring so they don't catch on stuff. In fact, when it comes to Velcro pads too, this is a really nice feature. The soft part is where you're going to rub your nose and wipe your face, so you're not going to cut your face up. We've actually done that on the Lopro gloves quite a few times. And you've also got these leashes here for the wrists. This way you don't lose your expensive gloves when it's a bit warmer and you don't need to be wearing them. And of course, you can remove those. Now the cool thing about the Heat 3 gloves is they're double lined. We've got a warm outer mitt, but unzip this zipper, peel this back, and there's your fingered gloves. Now I like the magnetic locks here as well. They're nice and quick. They keep things out of the way. And we also have a pull tab here for our thumb. And again, nice and convenient. So this is going to give me the tactile control that I need to operate a camera. And the camera that I've chosen today is my very own GM1 because they're tiny. And so if I can make the controls on this GM1 work, I can make the controls on any camera work. Now I am going to say when you've got your fingers exposed, obviously it's better than bare skin. It's pretty cold out here, but you do feel it. Still, I don't think my fingers are going to reach a point where I can't use them or lose sensation anymore. And again, opening up the zoom, no problem here. Turning the camera on, nice and easy. Changing dials and controls, no problem. Even this mode dial, which is very thin, I get a nice comfortable grip. I feel like it's working just fine. I can even turn the back rotational dial now with some difficulty but it does work. So overall, I'd say these are a really good compromise when you're trying to get handling. Another cool feature, on your finger and thumb, you've got these metallic pads, and of course, that lets us use the touch screen, and it works great wherever I touch. All right, so I'm pretty confident that I can handle any camera, any kind of electronics, phone, laptop, with these gloves and the fingers the way they are. So now for something ridiculous, uh, I'm going to see if I can tie a fly with these gloves on because really this is probably one of the most um, difficult, uh, very small detail kind of crafts that you can do and you need a lot of dexterity. If I can do it with these gloves, I can do anything with these gloves. So let's get started. You know, one of the great things here is if I get really cold, I can just throw a heat pack into these gloves uh, in these back pockets, and I'll probably be doing way better. It's also a very handy place to keep memory cards, batteries, so you don't lose those. Keep those batteries warm so that they keep putting out voltage. Well, it's not the prettiest fly I've tied, but it's tight and it would catch a fish, so that's a good start. And honestly, Jordan and I didn't think we'd be able to do it in the first place. So, very impressive, good tactile control with these gloves. 
You know, the other thing is we've been out here shooting for quite a long time now. It is very cold. Jordan's fingers are frozen, but mine are actually still doing okay. So, you know, folks at home, these are the Heat 3 gloves. You can get them from us on our website, and they are around there worldwide as well. And, of course, check us out on Twitter. Check us out on Instagram. Leave comments below, and please subscribe. But overall, we think the Heat 3 gloves are the best out there for any kind of tactile control in the wintertime. But photographers, you're going to love it. Thanks very much. We'll see you guys soon.